Here's Anthony and Mike with an AMI This Week Shortcut. 34-year-old Galen Lee is a singer, songwriter, and violinist from Duluth, Minnesota. Now, Galen has a disability called osteogenesis imperfecta, or brittle bones disease. She uses an electric wheelchair and an adaptation to play the violin by holding it like a cello. Laura Bain caught up with the musician on her recent stop in Halifax. The story begins on stage at the Carlton, a music venue in the city's downtown. Who are you really? Are you so important? Take a look around and watch the world unfold. Watch the world unfold. Singer-songwriter Galen Lee and her guitarist Dave Mayling performed to a packed house during the Halifax Pop Explosion Music Festival. Watch the world unfold. For my original songs, um, they're they're kind of a blend of like happiness and sadness, so so it might kind of melancholy, I suppose, maybe. Um, but ultimately, the message is that there's both beauty and sorrow and like happiness and tragedy kind of all happening at the same time. So kind of dealing with holding both. Galen burst onto the music scene in 2016 when she won NPR Music's Tiny Desk Contest. Since then, she's toured North America and Europe. It was the most scared I've ever been. You held my hand until the end. This past fall, Galen released her third full-length album, Learning How to Stay. Cause I see it too, just different than you, but I see it too. And it's a little bit more like indie rock vibe than it is like folk, which I guess is how you describe all my other stuff. Learning how to stay to me means being in the present moment. You know, you're you're experiencing all sorts of things, whether it's positive, um, beautiful, or terrible and frustrating, like in the case of disability rights. But instead of running away from our our present moment, like learning how to be in it and appreciate it for all of its complexity. You know what I mean? When you were lost in the woods, you were misunderstood by everyone, everyone. Lost in the Woods is one of 11 tracks on the new album. The whimsical music video features improvisational dancing and deals with issues of identity and honoring your own life path. Galen's been touring for two years. In addition to performing and recording, Galen Lee does speaking engagements. I'm doing it not because it's like a great passion of mine, but disability rights is a passion of mine, and it feels like a tangible way to help move things forward. As part of a Halifax Pop Explosion event, she spoke to a crowd at the Halifax Central Library about accessibility in the arts. If we really want to see the increasing participation of people with disabilities in our arts culture, we have to make the first move. Galen recently made the decision to only perform at accessible venues like the Carlton, where tonight's concert is taking place. The decision that I ultimately made was um, it's one thing I definitely want people to be able to get into the shows, but once they're in, I also don't want them to have to watch me have to be taken out of my chair and then four people lift the chair up to the stage because it doesn't send a message of equality. Like, nobody's carrying Joni Mitchell on stage or, you know what I mean? Like, nobody's carrying anyone else on stage. And so the, the fact that I wasn't able to get onto the vast majority of the places that we played um, started becoming kind of like a... This isn't sending the message that I want to people with disabilities coming. It is harder to tour. I'm not going to, you know, I have a lot of support and I've been lucky to find places that will host shows, but it does make it harder um, to find places to play. Um, but it's worth having this discussion with these venues um, to help make change. 
The next step would be people without disabilities refusing to play in accessible venues. And then the change would happen, like, probably within a week or something. <laughs> Galen ends her talk with a solo performance of her song, I Wait, which focuses on disability rights. I may seem angry, so please forgive me, but I am still not free in this society. It came about when, in America, in the summer of 2017, we were having a lot of healthcare debates. I was frustrated with being left out of the narrative. If you're talking about social justice, but leaving out people with disabilities, you're not really talking about social justice. We need a seat now at the table, so please invite us, or don't pretend to care. Thank you. Great story. I wasn't familiar with her music or her advocacy. And that's what this show is all about, to bring you those kinds of stories. If you're interested in Galen's music or touring schedule, check out her website at violinscratches.com or find her on Facebook at Galen Lee Music. That's G-A-E-L-Y-N-N-L-E-A -N -N -E Music.